This video seeks to introduce the results of hollow tomography used in a publication on tomographic imaging of lipid droplets in foam cells for targeted nanodrug delivery. When the blood's low-density lipoprotein concentration increases, some macrophages uptake the LDL, which causes them to become foam cells. This phenomenon is representative of early arteriosclerosis, which can be identified by an increase in cytoplasmic lipid droplet content in the cell. Traditionally, lipid droplet imaging required staining with lipophilic organelle dyes, such as Nile red or oil or red. However, this method requires fixation and may cause other problems such as nonspecific staining and photobleaching or phototoxicity caused by fluorophores. With hollow tomography, these problems can be solved because lipid droplets in live cells can be observed without the use of exogenous labels or reagents. Because HT uses a sample's refractive index only, the process is free from fixation or phototoxicity problems and allows lipid droplet imaging with high specificity. By using the 3D RI tomogram acquired by HT, it is possible to clearly distinguish the lipid droplets from the surrounding cellular content. The research team in the paper successfully captured lipid droplets in live foam cells using correlative HT and fluorescence microscopy. They confirmed that the area with high refractive index marked in red and the area stained with lipid-specific fluorescence dye were an exact match. Thus, they were able to show that holotomography can be appropriately used to identify lipid droplets in live cells without using any labels. Furthermore, the researchers went on to quantitatively analyze the lipid droplets. They used HT to image macrophages and foam cells and compared the lipid content in each to see the difference. The RI tomogram results show that compared to the macrophages, the foam cells show marked increase in the number, volume, and dry mass of lipid droplets. For example, the number of lipid droplets increased fourfold in foam cells in comparison to the macrophages. Finally, the team identified changes to the macrophages after treatment with macrophage-specific lipid-targeting drugs. The foam cell formation process after drug treatment was recorded for 24 hours by HT time-lapse imaging. The quantitative analysis of lipid droplets in the cells showed that the MMR lobe-treated macrophages did not form lipid droplets compared to the control group. In conclusion, it is possible to image and quantitatively analyze lipid droplets within cells label-free in their natural state. If you require further information about the research in holotomography, please feel free to contact us at Tomacube.